feminine hello okay let's see what's going on with your energy i'm just seeing the confusion here okay you're gonna be faced with two choices here okay you might be dating or you might not be dating i'm hearing majority of you guys are not dating anyone right now and father's saying you know it's okay to get yourself out there kind of like you know move forward when it comes down to something because it, it's it feels like you, you guys have a lot of patience but it also feels like you know you feel like you're a martyr to love like you just about to blow yourself up because of love 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 and father's like you know what i i, I need you to understand that you deserve real love you deserve true love you don't deserve to be in such a battle with love okay the battle is real you feel like you're just fighting all these forces fight it could be a, a karmic it could be a divine masculine that you feel like you're just fighting it you, it's just so much combative energy here okay so let's see what the situation is father's trying to give you better okay if your person doesn't get it right he's trying to give you better what's the situation divine feminine we got balance again oh my gosh i think you guys got that last week i think that was friday i believe okay balance yourself karmic endings justice here there are karmic endings that are happening, but you need to balance yourself. I feel like you're all over the place. You're wobbling a little bit. This is the justice card. You might be seeing 1111 as well, okay? Because you have been manifesting some good stuff, but you're like, okay, so why is my person still not acting right? Why are they still not getting it together? Why are they still, you know, you feel like there are lies and deceits and a lot of things going on behind the curtain because that's what justice is. The justice card is there's a lot of things going on back there. But Father, he's the judge. Remember, he's the only judge, okay? So you got the justice card and divine masculine got the judgment card as the situation. He's the one, that, Father's the one that judges your masculine. So forgive them for whatever that's going on, okay? That is very, very important. Oh my gosh, Father, thank you. That is amazing that it's so connected. I love when it connects like that, you know? Your energy is absolutely, y'all are in each other's energy. But remember, again, you can't pay attention to everything that's going on over there. I don't care if somebody's calling you private or, you know, you're getting these messages, these emails, these whatever, whatever, whatever. Look, balance yourself. Maintain balance is what Father's saying. Allow Father to judge the situation. You cannot judge anybody's situation for anything and any reason. He is the judge. He's the one that's going to do it fairly, okay? Anyways, your action. Your third eye chakra. Oh, my gosh. Your action is to trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition on this. Some of you all have to move forward for right now. Some of you guys have to, like, get it together. Really maintain that balance, okay? Trust your third eye. Trust the things that you've been seeing lately, okay? Really, really trust it. Understand that Father is working with that person, but that doesn't mean that you have to dedicate all your time, energy, and whatever and to try to find out some things, okay? Trust your intuition. Your third eye has already confirmed some things, okay? And some of you guys may feel like, oh, man, I'm going crazy, or maybe it's not, or maybe it's this. Father's like, trust your intuition, okay? You see things. Some of you guys have been gifted with the gift of sight to see things clearly, okay? Um, and if you need to, you can book a reading. That's what Father's saying, get, gaining clarity. You can book a reading, justdreamguide.com. Um, we'll get down to the clarity of it all, okay? What's the outcome for Divine Feminine today? We got financial and material changes with the Five of Pentacles being here. You might be stressing over finances as well here as well, Okay? Um, and you might be just feeling like, okay, you might be feeling like, you know, you're not enough, like the abandonment of it all. You might be feeling like you don't have enough and that you're not enough. And Father's like, do not stay in that energy, okay? You need to change some things around. You need to go outside, ground yourself. I'm here in beach. So some of you all need to head to the beach if you, if you can, if it's not too cold still. But some of you all need to head to the beach, you know. Bottom of the deck, energy is trapped in fear. You are trapped in so much fear here. I'm hearing that you... You, you pretty much know a lot of things and you're trapped in the fear of your own mind here. Some of the stories you are making up, but some of the stories are very much so factual here. With the Eight of Swords energy, I believe you got that last week too, Divine Feminine. You're still trapped in your head. Your mental, your mind is in a prison right now over the situation. That's why Father is about to give you two choices. That's what I just, you know, he's going to give you a soulmate or, you know, you can choose to wait for your twin flame if you would like to. But it's all up to you. And I'm just seeing the fear that comes from that too. <laughs> Divine Feminine, because your crown chakra, the things that you know, understand that this is your person, your twin is your person, okay? But you also know that there are a lot of challenges here. Five of Wands energy, there's a lot of conflict. Like I said, a lot of battle. Lots of things happening all at once here, okay? Lots of things. And with the five here, there's a, the Hierophant energy. There's five, five, five. There's changes happening. This is the Hierophant energy. This is you and your spiritual truth 
really knowing that everybody's waking up but you're already up you're woke <laughs> i hate that word by the way but you're woke that's the best way i can put it you have um risen to the occasion occasion you absolutely know more you do better you know better you do better okay but you are emotionally withdrawn you're asked to just kind of walk away step away from all of that drama and everything else that's going on over there people need to wake up and they will in their own time you cannot force anything and you are not a martyr of love okay so let's get a love card for you, Divine Feminine. Trust. It's safe to trust the situation. And then it says protect it. And then it says a new love or recommitment to love is developing. Divine Feminine. I cannot make this up. Trust the situation, but understand that Father is protecting you from a lot of things that may be happening. If your Divine Masculine decides to keep choosing wrong, there's no reason why you should feel like you should always be in a third-party situation here. So Father's like, look. He's going to send you new love or he's going to allow that recommitment to love from your person to happen. So whichever one happens first or whatever you choose, that's up to you. Again, your choices. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, what you mean? I feel, I understand how confusing that may be. But Father just wants you to be happy. He says, let go. Make room for the new beginning that is, that's on its way to you now, okay? Let go. Let go of all expectations is what Father's saying. Let go of all expectations. And you might need to let go of this person for right now. Because somebody has a confession that they still haven't told you. And with that being said, you don't need to obsess over it. You know, this person isn't ready to really show you everything that you need to be shown in a real loving, committed relationship here. Let's see what you want to tell your masculine and what they want to say back. What do you want to tell your masculine here? I'm leaving the past behind. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups keeps coming. Oh my gosh. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. I'm leaving the past behind. You're ready. You're done. You're done with that uh, up, down, in and out energy, okay? And that's okay because Father's like, it's okay. I'll either send you this recommitment to love or I'll send you a, a, a true love coming your way. Whatever it is, it's okay to trust that you're protected from all of it, okay? You're protected. You might be in mental conflict because of this decision. This is the two of swords. It's just like, which way do I go? And like I said, sit with your Bible. Sit with your, you know, with yourself. Really meditate on this. Pray on this. That's what the Eight of Cups is all about. Letting go of the past and praying, really being deep in your emotions, really sitting in reflection, but really seeing it from all points. You deserve true love, okay? What does your masculine want to tell you today? What does the mind feminine's masculine want to tell you today? Knight of Cups, expect me. I'm on my way. So again, your two choices. Again, it, it just reconfirms it. I'm not making nothing up, you guys. Somebody's father sending new love your way, and he's also trying to get your masculine right. They're like, look, wait on me. I got this. I'm coming your way. Expect me. And you're like, whoa, but, you know, the, the choice is yours. Which one are you going to do? I know it puts you in a lot of mental conflict, but I just got to tell you what the energy is here, okay? So that's what I got for you guys today. That's what I have for you, Divine Feminine. Let's go to the last video for the last message to get the combined love for today and see what's going on in that energy. Thank you so much for your time. Next video. Last video, I should say.